you are about to witness a woman going through an array of emotions as she cycles home from work. Yes, I am aware that I do not live in a mountainous region, but sometimes it feels like it. Don't judge me. <laughs> Work is over! I've got an hour and a half commute to do. I'm still in Exeter. This is what I love about this ride so much, that it begins along a river from the city centre. It's amazing! Pretty much never have to go on a road cycling out of Exeter towards the south and the west. Well, southwest. Towards the south. Where I'm going, whatever. Because there's all these networks of cycle paths like this that weave their way out of the city, literally the city centre, out of the industrial park, uh, Marsh Barton, and then out to the countryside. Can't see anything. The sun's so bright. It's sunny, I can't believe it. This is why I'm doing this today. Well, actually, I didn't actually know it was going to be sunny. I thought it was going to be cloudy. But I tried to cycle yesterday after work and it was just misly and drizzly and horrible. So I saw that it was going to be dry today, so I thought, yes, I'm going to do it today. I don't traditionally cycle to or from the co-working space that I work in a few days a week because it's 20 kilometers and 400 meters of elevation each way takes about an hour and a half depending on how I'm feeling. In fact, I don't even think I've ever cycled to uh, the office. I think I've only cycled home and I can do that and I'm doing that today because we drove in, my partner and I both drove in. We, uh, we've only got one car and one day a week or two days a week we car share in. Um, so we drove in with a bike and then I'm cycling home just to get a bike ride in, frankly. But it means I didn't have to cycle to work this morning. That would have been really hard. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make the green light? Oh no. Oh my god, it changed back to me, a cyclist. Didn't even know they could do that. This is a perfect reason why I don't cycle to and from work. I'm like 10 minutes outside of the city and the hills have begun already. And this is kind of just one big giant hill. Um, it's so, it gets so steep. Sometimes I have to push my bike up a part of it. It's so hard. And then the rest of it is like down the way home, but for like half of it. But it takes a disproportionate amount of time to do the first half. It's such a big hill. And it's just, it's like the proper obstacle for me to cycle to work and back. So I just don't. I really am such a huge proponent of cycling to and from work if you can and i technically can it's only 20 well it's 40 kilometer round trip so what's that like 24 mile round trip uh combined 800 meters of elevation it's just a lot to do before and then after work this is the first day of the year that I've, it hasn't been raining and it is the first evening that's light enough for me to cycle home we left the office at five o'clock but mainly i'm just really really happy to be cycling home I'm just really happy to be cycling and there is sun I can see it and there's blue sky oh, it's such a perfect way to end a working day this isn't even the big hill this is just a little one oh my god <laughs> This is the bottom of the big hill. The hill that is the real reason why I do not cycle to and from work. And obviously I've already made it really easy because I haven't cycled to work. I've only cycled, I'm only cycling home. Um, so I don't have 20 kilometers in my legs already from this morning on this massive hill. What is even easier though, as you might have noticed, I don't have a bag. 
I'm not carrying anything other than water, my phone, this camera, some gloves that I definitely don't need because I'm boiling already. Uh, 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 because I put all of my work stuff, my laptop, everything, all of my work clothes, work clothes, quite often co-working space, but not cycling clothes. I put all of that in the car, which my partner has. So all of my work stuff is being driven home. I literally could not have made this easier for myself if I had tried. And I did try, I did try and make it really easy for myself and it's still gonna be really hard. <sighs> it's so nice. I need to do all this talking now because this is uphill, but I can obviously cycle, breathe, talk to you, hold the camera. It's about to get really steep and that steep bit's gonna take me quite a while to get up. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to film that much on it. But then also once I get to the top, it is incredibly steep downhill the other side for quite a long way. And then the traffic picks up. So this is the best time for me to be chatting away. So this actual route is fantastic. Like it couldn't really be better from a traffic and a scenery point of view. It's all past farmlands and woodlands and stuff. It's really quiet. Cars don't tend to drive down here because it's a shit road to drive down. It's really potholy. It's really narrow and you just wouldn't. Um, <laughs> there is an A road, just like a mile that way. So it's really, really quiet. It's really lovely. It's really beautiful. Every time of year, it's really beautiful. I really like it. And people absolutely do commute this way into the city all the time. I know that for a fact because one of my family members is one of them. Um, and it's really a case that I'm just not fit enough for it, but I really want to do it more but I don't want to cycle into work over this massive hill, getting really sweaty. So I'm kind of considering getting an e-bike and it seems a bit crazy to get an e-bike to commute into work um, when you have a bike and you're technically capable of cycling it. But the reality is that I'm not gonna cycle this. I love cycling home, but that happens so rarely because it's just logistically difficult to get my bike to the city. But I'm not, realistically, I'm not going to cycle to work because of this massive hill. Anyway, this is getting steep now, my arm aches. But look at that view! Oh my God. Oh my God, it's not even the steep bit yet. This is not in slow-mo. Oh, toe tap, that's why I don't wear SPDs because we cycle up really steep hills. Too slowly. I imagine if I had a laptop with me. Fuck that, oh my God. Now, of course, if I did this, two times a week, three times a week. This is the steep burn. I can't even tell. If I did this, even once or twice a week, I would obviously get fitter quickly and get better at it. Where's the fun in that? It, it defeated me. The last stretches, I fell into a, just a sort of gutter, not a gutter, a bit where the tarmac uh, has given way to water. I was going too slowly, so my wheel, I didn't have time to correct it. My wheel just slipped off into it, which is a great excuse to walk up the last bit. Oh my God. I actually, this really just tells me I'm pretty unfit because I have cycled up this fully laden before. Fully laden with work stuff. But still, uh, not like fully laden with cycle touring stuff. I'm going to do two one week cycle tours this year. So I do need to get fitter. And that's going to be fully laden and in a really hilly place too. Uh, Maybe I should just get off my arse <laughs> and cycle home. I could probably do it once a week, weather dependent. Don't mind riding in the rain, but 
don't do it all the time. <laughs> so that's it. It's just that bit. It doesn't actually take that long. Even if I have to walk up a little bit of it. Look. I've literally come from sea level. Well, not quite, but river level. Um, so it doesn't take that long. I mean, it still takes an hour and a half, hour and 40 to get home. But it doesn't actually take that long to do that really hilly part. This bit here is a bit of the red mountain bike route, just the other side of that fence that I've shown before in my mountain biking at Holden Forest Park videos. This is a horrible bit. The whole red is epic, except for this bit. It's so narrow and it's like really difficult for everybody because it's so narrow, but particularly for me because I don't have any peripheral vision on my left side really. And so the fence on my left side, and I'm always really scared about clipping my handlebars on it. Hasn't happened yet, but still, it could. So I'm at the top of the dreaded hill. Look at the clouds. This is Holden Forest Park, so this is where I go mountain biking quite a lot. And it is, it's more or less downhill from here. For like half an hour downhill, it's really, really fun. <laughs> it's what makes it all worth it. There are a couple of uphills, but not very many. And they're really short. They always surprise me because I always think it's like properly downhill from here and it just isn't. But it is, if you look at the elevation chart, I'll put it on the screen right now. That elevation chart. So you can see it's pretty much downhill from where I am. I'm hoping that I'm going to see my sister cycling up this hill any second now in the other direction for reasons of her own. Anyway, I'm going to head downhill. Whoop whoop. <laughs> just caught my sister. She is cycling uphill. I'm streaming downhill. Had a good chat with her. That's always nice. This is actually such a beautiful part. I forget how beautiful this section is. It's like woody and mossy and it's just wicked. Now I'm definitely glad for my gloves. <laughs> Freewheeling is chilly. Oh, what a joy, what a joy. That was such a good descent. It was so good. <laughs> oh, a bit nippy. Um, the views are amazing. I can't show them to you because I was going so fast and there was no good place to stop. But it was just epic. And the birds just like going crazy in the trees and the sun is hitting the clouds in that kind of like renaissance painting way. Oh my God, such joy. I'm so glad I did this. I was also totally umming and ahhing about wearing my overshoes today. In my video on the five cycling accessories I love, I was talking about them there. Uh, I bought them in November when it was really fucking cold, like when it was incredibly cold. And I've worn them throughout the winter and they've been amazing. And now it's springtime, it's late March, and I was really not going to wear them today. But I'm really glad I did because it's quite a lot of water still on the roads. So they've protected my shoes and um, my feet are nice and toasted and warm. Look at the clouds! Yeah, so I'm super happy that I wore my overshoes. so many really loud birds. I don't know what they are. I don't recognise them. It really gets dark quite quickly after sunset, doesn't it? Yes, it's kind of obvious, but I'm still a bit surprised. <laughs> well, I did it. I cycled home from work. It was... I don't know. It was really good. It took me an hour and 37 minutes. And that's including 15 minutes yakking to my sister. So that's pretty good. That's actually way quicker than I thought it was gonna be. Um, 24 kilometers, 23.49 actually, let's be exact here. 
here's the elevation, 459 meters up, 463 meters down. Oh, I've got a bit of extra descent in there. That's exciting. So that's really good. I'm really happy. That felt really nice. I had a great, like genuinely such a great time. Even going up the hill, I actually, I enjoyed it. It's not that I don't enjoy going up that hill. It's just that it takes so much effort. And if you're doing it twice a day and you're going to work and then you need to work, it's just quite difficult. But that has really made me want to do that more often. And if I can do this again regularly, drive to the office and then cycle home, I just think that is probably the best way to start doing this and really get into the habit of it and really start building my strength up. I really enjoyed it. Tell me in the comments if you cycle to work or cycle to something regularly, how you find it. Do you have any big hills in the way? Did it take you a while to get into it? Or do you have a really flat route? Or is it really busy? Is it really annoying in another way? I don't mean that this hill is really annoying, but you know what I mean? Like, is it is it an is there an obstacle to you doing it? So tell me about that in the comments and I will look forward to reading it. See you in the next one. Bye.